They've been very generous and giving me a bit of their time, so they're going to talk about a bit of music. Oh, yeah, tasty. All right, so when I first started like thinking about how am I going to like tell people about you guys, I couldn't really like figure out what like how to describe what it is that you guys make. Like it's psych rock, and then but that's about it. There's just so much sort of going on. So what do you guys reckon? Uh, we used to call it um, psychedelic surf garage sludge punk. <laughs> but we sort of try to sum it down to yeah, old, yeah. old psych punk. Yeah. yeah, old psych punk's a bit easier to say, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good name for it, actually, I reckon. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah, what kind of music were you guys listening to that got you yeah, into making that kind of... Uh, we have a well, huge yeah, list of inspirations yeah, when it comes to, like, you know, from the classics to yeah, new like Aussie right surf like punk and stuff. Like you know, well, at the two years ago at the time, right up until then, you know, like, I think the time first big one for us was what, Drags? Drags, and, um, You know, then the classics like Sabbath. Yeah, Black like Sabbath, Black yeah. Sabbath, and Pink Floyd and stuff. I don't know, just a lot um, of Aussie punk bands as well from, like... Yeah, Brad Pot. Yeah, the, a lot of, and Hoon as well, Space yeah, Boys. Space Boys yeah, Boys local, local bands. bands. They were a big influence on us as well. And yeah. Also even, you know, just, like, the attitudes of, like, all the older bands, like, for me personally, like, you got, like... Keith Moon, and he's just like, you see him, and he's like, he didn't care. Yeah. Like, he still yeah, yeah. Knew, knew what he was doing, but like, just that attitude of just like, just letting go and going for it was a big help for even me, just, you know, playing drums as well, a big, big, big help. That's very true. Ways, so, like, yeah, inspirations for, yeah. Anywhere. All around the now. clock. Yeah, yeah. all around yeah. the clock, <laughs> everywhere. Well, that's, yeah, that's another thing I reckon, like, listening to you is you kind of have just, like that like a lot of real influences sort of you can hear them all very much that's good it's like pretty hmm. like good. yeah you guys said black sabbath and i was sort of saying i was about to say like i get like black sabbath vibes from i think just even how the songs are written actually it's just yeah. sort of that same and the, uh, Structure attitude and, and yeah. yeah and just the way it goes through it it's pretty it's pretty sick like loves love black sabbath yeah they're, they're right. pretty big yeah. for a reason yeah, yeah. yeah. um there's very full you know, yeah it's yeah. like oh, this is this is nasty like, yeah it's good so good um so yeah i've been to a few of your live shows and they're sort of pretty chaotic is that how you guys sort of aim for that to happen or sort of just, yeah. Yeah, we just like exerting as much energy as possible into the performance and we sort of compete mm. with each other's energy and yeah. pass off it and yeah, there's yeah. two of us and we're, we're quite synced in we just try and max it out as much as possible and have as much yeah. fun as possible and hope everyone else Feels that vibe of energy and bloody gets really keen and has a big top, big fun time. Yeah, yeah. The good thing is there's not much difference just when we jam anyway. Like, it's still yeah. the same yeah. sort of thing. Sometimes we'll sit back and go, all right, we'll focus on that bit. But yeah, just, I don't know, just always like going for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even just like, I know, obviously the people there are sort of liking it and sort of they're really getting a lot out of it. But like, you guys are getting that straight up as well. You're not sort of just standing there like, Fuck, I'm gonna fuck up or anything like that. Hey, <laughs> nah, just no, keep going. We, just, just we just fuck up going. constantly in sets. Yeah, it's dude, quite yeah. fun. It's part of the set almost. We, yeah, you just, just every keep, time. You just gotta keep going. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, there's no point to go. Alright, start again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, it happened. Yeah. That's the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, it keeps you grounded a little bit as well. You yeah, know? It keeps true, it a bit yeah. more realistic for you. Like, you gotta be like, oh yeah, that, that's right. Like, and then you just keep going and pull it back. Yeah, yeah, fair. Um, Chim- have a smile and a laugh when it happens yeah. too, always <laughs> makes it funnier. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you guys went on a pretty decent little tour recently. How was that? Yeah, it was great. It was we were joint tour with Hoon. It was. Um, I miss it dearly. Yeah, we we're pretty post depression. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was. It was very. How funny. long was it? Like it was Two stretched weeks, over. Yeah. Well, it was sort of stretched over longer because. Yeah, it was like three weekends, but like. Over like it was two weeks like because we had different crazy. segments of it. Like yeah. there was like the yeah. first part, which was like Ulladulla, Wollongong, Sydney. Yeah, and then like that was like one weekend, and then like Melbourne. A couple of days later, yeah, the next Canberra, weekend as well. After oh, Thursday yeah. or whatever it was. After that, and then that was for like a sort of like a week, I guess. Maybe. Car broke down. Had to stay in Melbourne yeah. for days. So. Oh yeah, exactly. Really. And then we had like one day break, and then <laughs> straight to Brisbane and, and yeah, exactly. Gold Coast. Yeah, see, so on the road for a while. Yeah. 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 Do you know how many shows are in that? Uh, 11. 11. Well, 11. 10. 10 for us, yeah. Yeah, because we, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, it was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fun, but very yeah. good people to be in the car with. They're um, quite funny, a lot of jokes. Yeah, the yeah. Man boys are a good company. So it was nice for us, for them to have us along as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, good exposure, too. 
And yeah, yeah, true. Um, you guys were just recording back recently as well, was it? Yes, yeah, last yes. week. Yeah. Last week, yeah. So what's what's going on there? Anything coming um, out soon? In this very room here, yeah, the scat is... pad downstairs underneath my mum's house. Yeah. We've um, yeah. set up with our friend Kyle from Angry Dog Records a bunch of stuff with Tom's kit over there and bloody amps here and, and there Tom was standing cramped like, in this tiny little space. No yeah. gear, Kyle had, kind of had to like stand here. <laughs> Wires bloody hanging everywhere. From yeah, yeah. Every kind of had to like maneuver around like you're trying to go through like laser beams to get to mm -hmm. like something. It was really it was whack. Yeah. But we did a continuous album so yeah. um, it was quite quick but you know each take was quite strenuous because when you stuff up like yeah, six yeah. minutes in you have to you know start yeah. from the very start yeah, again true. or 11 minutes in order it is. It's easier just to do like the whole five songs because it's like five songs that just loop into each other so yeah it's kind of easy just when you're recording it just for us to just start from the start you know because every time yeah. we still do it because like as we play live it's like different well something needs to be different about it because we never kind of like stick to the sort of same pattern and then yeah. live that's <laughs> just yeah. how it goes yeah yeah how's your mum like that <laughs> nice that bear downstairs oh she don't, well we haven't really been jamming here in ages so it's yeah. like you know, she she, she the it, you know. And the neighbours are pretty good with it, hey. They compliment us and they reckon that they, we get a crowd. Yeah, they're listening to it the other day, apparently. It was killed. People walking with their dogs. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> they reckon. That's crazy. Yeah, it's very good. Start selling tickets for that. <laughs> <laughs> come watch us record. Or come yeah. listen to it more. Come stand in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> so you got you got a continuous album coming out. Do you know how long that normally, like how long does that normally take to get out? Oh, it might be a bit hard to sort of say. Yeah, not sure. Yeah, the yeah release date, we don't have a, a set release time. Date, yeah, yeah, we're just going to see how everything comes together. Really, yeah. with like ideas of putting it out, how it's going to be put out, how we want yeah, it to sound. True. So, yeah, we just I suppose there is a lot of other stuff. Yeah, yeah. We, no rush, we don't really want to rush, but also want to have it out not too long. So yeah, soon, but like not right away. That's probably the best way to describe it. Yeah, and so like, um, how do your songs sort of come together? Is it just sort of um, so sometimes it's from like a jam with me and Tom will just come yeah. up with something in yeah. the midst of a, like an improv jam. Yeah. Or I'll come up with something at home and then I'll yeah, you know, show yeah. Tom like a day or two after and or like I'll used to send it on my phone to him. Yeah, yeah. and I play around just at home and then when we come in it's just like, oh, okay, let's, let's try let's this have a crack at that. Yeah. 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 Right. And then usually develop, uh, all our songs have developed from live gigs as well. Because we change little bits and it ends up sticking yeah, just, more from performances rather than actually yeah, actually yeah, it's like oh yeah, and like you know people people just can't go. What was that bit? You're like, come on, right? Like yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, we've been working on that. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Um, so where do the ideas for your songs sort of come from? Like if you listen to any of their music, it's really there's just a bit of everything thrown in there, and uh, it's a lot of it is like um, it's not actually heaps of thought put into a lot of it. It's more like feeling sort of stuff like it's the way yeah. you feel and a lot of weird aspects whether it's the way I feel or the way I think other people feel or whatever yeah, that's, okay. that's yeah. when my songwriting comes in and also from Tom's body way he feels when he plays the drums like he doesn't really think about it too much it's more feeling yeah, it's, sort of, it's, it's like it's when, comes out so more of a live band really than like yeah a, that's yeah, yeah that's what I was gonna say it's like yeah I just follow what, what I hear when playing with the guitar and it's like okay yeah. I'm, yeah. That, I'm gonna do this and that usually ends up being the songwriting and most of the processes anyway yeah so you reckon there's a fair few other people sort of making similar stuff yeah yeah, yeah I do because like, a lot of bands in Melbourne that have sort of heaps fast psych punky sort of yeah. Yeah. music um, even like Gold Coast as well okay yeah oh. we, yeah I'm definitely maybe more not the similar sort of vibe but the music's kind of just Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> They're whack and intense. Yeah, there's a lot of um, what's the word? slime punk up there. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like yeah. Yeah, Gold Coast bands are sick. Yeah. Yeah. And you listen to like, like overseas bands as well and you can't okay, like, oh, yeah. cool, there's like similar sort of things going on over here. Yeah. But just like, it's, it's French or something, you know, <laughs> yeah. German. And you can, then it's just like a whole new level of like, yeah, similar the, sort of like, mus like musician, like, I don't even know how to say the words, but I think you understand what yeah. I mean. But yeah, like like-minded people, I guess, playing music, and then like America as well. And you just yeah. like, talk on Tom talks to them on the internet, and then you kind of like, oh my god, like they got this sort of vibe, or they remind us of this Aussie band, and it's kind yeah. of just like it's a crazy world out there, Luke. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's, it's <laughs> it crazy. The internet's everywhere. a powerful thing. Yeah, <laughs> nuts. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. And then 
all of a sudden you find yourself listening to some band from North Carolina. You're like, what? Yeah. Jeez. It's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, well, Dumb doctors. Alright, <laughs> 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 uh, well, I reckon I'll just about do it. So. Oh. Thank you very much, Lou. No worries. Appreciate it. No, dude. Any time, man. Thanks yeah, for coming along. Pleasure to talk music with you. Still. Oh, any time, any time. Any time. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's nice. It's different. It's unusual. I like it. <laughs> <laughs>